importing data into your app. In the last video, you created tables and fields in your custom app using FileMaker Pro. In this video, you'll populate your app with data from spreadsheets. You'll repeat this process three times in order to import data into the client, visit, and service tables. To follow along, download the lesson materials so you'll have the same spreadsheets you see in the video. Once you open your app, you're on a screen known as a layout that shows you the client fields. You'll notice that there's one record in the client table. FileMaker creates a single record in your first table when you create a new app. You'll be adding new records by importing client data from a spreadsheet, so you don't need this blank record. Go ahead and delete it. Since you have client information stored in a spreadsheet, you can import it directly into your custom app. Your client spreadsheet has information about 25 of your clients. In FileMaker Pro, go to the File menu and choose Import Records, File. The Open File window appears. Find your client spreadsheet and click Open. Next, you'll see the Import Field Mapping window. This is where you'll match the columns in your spreadsheet to the fields in your app. There are a few different elements here, so you'll need to set them up one at a time. The left side of the screen shows you the source data, which is the data in your spreadsheet. The right side of the screen shows you the target fields, which are the fields in your app. Note that you were viewing a layout showing the client table before you started the import process. FileMaker Pro uses that layout as your context for importing data. That's why you see client fields on the target side. FileMaker Pro will let you select which fields you want to import. Notice that the city fields aren't properly lined up. You can manually line up the city on the right side to the city on the left side to match them. But if your spreadsheet and custom app use the same field names, FileMaker Pro can help you match up the fields more quickly. Select Don't Import First Record so that the header row does not import as data. Then, in the Arrange By list, choose Matching Names. FileMaker Pro rearranges the target fields to match the source fields. Notice the legend. Arrows mean that data will be imported, like Client ID to Client ID. The dots mean that the data will not import into your app. After the import, the photo field will be empty for all 25 clients. Click the Forward button to preview the incoming data before you actually import it. This can be especially useful when your header row and your fields don't match up exactly. Since the first few records look like they're matched up properly, click Import. An Import Options window will appear. Make sure that Perform Auto Enter Options While Importing is unselected. In the previous video, you set up your app to automatically generate unique numbers for the primary keys. In this case, your clinic spreadsheets already have the keys you need, so you don't want FileMaker to populate the primary keys. Click Import. FileMaker Pro imports the spreadsheet and then shows a dialog with the results of the import. 25 records were imported and there were no errors. Click OK. Flip through the records to see your newly imported data. Now repeat the process for the visit table. Use the Layout drop-down to switch to the visit layout. Choose File, Import Records, File. Then select the Visit spreadsheet. Remember to turn on Don't Import First Record. Then choose Matching Names from the Arrange By drop-down. To get a preview of the information that will be imported, click on the arrow next to the field name to flip through the data. Click Import. Make sure that Perform Auto Enter Options while importing is turned off, and click Import again. Click OK to close the summary window. Lastly, import the service spreadsheet into your app. Switch to the service layout. Choose File, Import Records, File. Select the service spreadsheet. Select Don't Import First Record. Then choose Matching Names. Click Import. Perform Auto Enter Options while importing should be turned off. Click Import, then click OK to close the summary window. Now your app has data in the Client, Visit, and Service tables. In this video, you imported data from spreadsheets into your custom app. 
In the next video, you'll learn how to create relationships between your tables so your users can see data from multiple tables at once.